Hi there, I'm Martin Salter from the Angling Trust. We're heavily involved in working with the Environment Agency on the National Crucian Conservation Project. It's a project that aims to promote the Crucian carp, to promote its habitat, to conserve the species and to encourage angling clubs and fishery owners to think about stocking Crucians and think about doing what Godalming Angling Club have done here at Johnson's Lake, creating bespoke Crucian fisheries that prove incredibly popular with anglers. So Mike, here we are at the current mecca for Crucian fishing in the UK, the famous Johnson's Pond. Yes, indeed, this is the one that uh, helped us start Marsh Farm. All of the stock for Marsh Farm came out of this lake, those specimen crucians, specimen tench, and indeed some rudd. And only in the last few weeks, uh, the British record has been broken in here with two fish. How big were those fish, Mike? Uh, they weighed four pound 10. It was one and the same fish by two different captors in different areas, but we now hold the British record in this water. And do you think these crucians could get bigger? Is there a possibility of there being a five pound crucian coming from, from these waters? I certainly do. I think uh, if they were caught at what I'll call the wrong time, when they're full of spawn, some of the females will be up there very close to that five pound mark. Well, we're not actually going to be fishing here at Johnson's. We're going to go to the adjacent Harris Lake, uh, a day ticket water run by, by the Godalming Club. And I'm going to be fishing with Mike Holcomb uh, and he's going to explain to me the te techniques he uses to catch crucians and we're going to see if we can get a, a few crucians to show you a bit later on. So Mike, why 15 years ago did Godalming Angling Society decide to concentrate on creating bespoke crucian fisheries down here at Marsh Farm? Well, we felt uh, that there's more than enough carp angling around. We have three very good carp waters, and therefore we wanted to offer the membership an alternative for both specimen and pleasure anglers. And what better than crucian, tench and rudd, beautiful summer fish. And do you find that tench are a good partner fish with, with crucians? Do they mix well together? We believe they're the most ideal partner fish. They don't compete in many ways, and this water is evidence of that. We've got tench now up to 10 pounds, and the crucians, as we all know, are over four pound. They thrive together. They're incredibly finicky uh, today. It's great to catch them on the float, but you can see why people use short hook lengths and swim feeders, much more positive bites. But uh, that last fish just tapped the float and then lifted an eighth of an inch, and I struck, and it was very lightly hooked. Here she comes. Very, very delicate bite. Well, there we have. Gorgeous go. little marsh, well not so little, marsh farm crucian. Real tribute to the way the club have managed and created this superb bespoke crucian fishery here at Godalming. Well, isn't that a sight for sore eyes? Cracking Crucian Carp from Harris Lake, courtesy of Godalming Angling Society. Fantastic. Well, didn't we get some tremendous fish from Harris Lake? We're really, really lucky. We found the Crucians feeding, caught many specimens up to over two pounds. Uh, we also had some lovely tench amongst them as well. Great day sport. But now it's time to nip over to Newbury, a few miles north from here, and see what Newbury Angling Association are doing to create their own bespoke crucian fishery at Warwick's Water. Last year at the Club AGM, after Martin Salter approached the club with the idea of a crucian lake and told us about the National Crucian Project, the club committee decided fairly quickly that this was something we wanted to do. We took it back to committee, we decided to work with a, the EA and they gave me the job of planning it all with the EA and so far we're having a successful project. We've got as far as draining the lake and now we're almost ready to let it settle down and bring the crucians in at later the year. Okay, we're uh, delighted to be working with the Newbury Angling Association today at Warwick's Water as part of the National Crucian Carp Conservation Project. Um, our involvement up to this point has been uh, helping with the health check, getting a health check to make sure the fish that are in here can be moved safely to other waters. Uh, there's fish in here such as carp, perch, roach, um, that we've, we've successfully moved to, to a couple of the club's other waters. We've got buckets ready. We've got a team up there with uh, bins and stuff. We've got one fish here. Two 
That's going to make lovely photography for someone. Yeah. Yeah. See all these lovely little tents in there? Oh, yeah. We haven't seen hardly any big tents, but these out. Yeah, Talked to him out before uh, we put them in. Sign of a coach in the door? No. Okay, the, the netting went really well. We got most of the fish in one sweep, which was really good. Uh, it's pretty hard going there with all that silt, but uh, we, we got them in the end and we're just picking a few fish out now, so almost there. Well Well, I'm not very good at carp weights, but I reckon this carp is about seven or eight pounds. I think it's one of about uh, 50 to 60 that we've taken out. It's been a very interesting project. I've enjoyed every minute of it so far. The club's long-term plan for Warwick's water is that in a couple of years it'll be a classical crucian fishery with lots of weed growth in there and some nice sized crucians coming out and after a year the club intends to put some tension there as partner fish to the crucians because they, we know they live well together. Well what a fabulous job the guys at Newbury Angling Association are doing in turning this lovely little pond here at Warwick's water into a new crucian and tench fishery. And you know, it's important with crucians to ensure that they are only put in with compatible species. And if you want some company for your crucians, then, as we saw down at Marsh Farm, tench are the ones to go for. That's a beautiful tench, that's probably five. It's not just here in the Thames Valley that new crucian projects are springing up. Down in Dorset, Christchurch and District Angling Club inspired by the National Crucian Conservation Project, have decided to turn two of their three lakes at their Holtwood complex into crucian and tench friendly venues. They have removed the common carp completely and have just restocked with over a thousand two to three inch crucians. The club has been in regular contact with our good friend Peter Rolfe, author of the Crucian Bible, Crock of Gold, who is supporting the club with his expert advice. And the club is working closely with the Environment Agency and the Angling Trust on this exciting project. Talking of the Environment Agency, they are fully signed up for the aims of the Crucian Conservation Project and can be of great help to clubs wanting to develop their own Crucian fisheries. There are some wonderful baby Crucians produced each year at the EA's superb fish farm at Calverton near Nottingham. These are purebred crucians of the highest quality and they make great brood stock for new fisheries. It's always worth clubs contacting their EA fishery officers to ask for advice. And who knows, you may get lucky with a bit of stocking. There's loads of useful information online. Go to www.anglingtrust.net forward slash crucian to find out about the work of the National Crucian Conservation Project. Or why not check out Peter Rolfe's fabulous little website at www.crucians.org. Or you could sign up to the Facebook page of the Association of Crucian Anglers and make some new friends in this wonderful world of crucian fishing. Well, it's time to go now, but we hope that some of the great work that we've seen happening at Marsh Farm and Johnson's Lake down in Surrey, at Holtwood Ponds in Dorset, and here at Warwick's Water in Newbury will persuade more than a few club officials and fishery owners that course fishing in still waters in the UK needs to be a whole lot more than just an endless procession of king carp. And you know what? Creating something a bit special by way of designated crucian fisheries really can provide the diversity and range that many, many course anglers are seeking. If anyone doubts the popularity of crucian fishing, bear in mind that in the last year alone, Godalman Angling Club took more than £20,000 at their day ticket complex at Marsh Farm in Surrey.